And good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm Nicole. I did not get a weekend reading out for all of you guys yesterday. Like I was hoping to. Um, Spirit had other plans for me. Um, so I'm going to do a quick reading uh, for Saturday and Sunday uh, this week. I'm going to go straight through all the signs. I'm going to keep them very short, very sweet. I'm not going to clarify too much. But we're just going to pick up on the most prominent energies that are surrounding you guys at this time. Uh, you know what needs to, what's probably mostly in your uh, in your energetic field. Those are the words I'm looking for this morning. Good grief! All right. So with that, if you're well, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm Nicole. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, cross watch if it's you. Welcome as well. Discern the messages, and we'll go from there. Right. All right, so Aries, we're going to get started with you. We're just going to go through these pretty quickly. And, you know, that's that. All right, so Aries, let's see here. What is the most prominent thing this weekend, Spirit, for Aries that Aries needs to be <clears throat> aware of? Love and romance, really? Um, but there's deceit and appreciation and gratitude. Um, some of you... Oh, boy, I try to keep them short and sweet anyhow. Um... I think you've got a lot of options right now, Aries, and I think that you are, it's almost like kind of like riding a cusp of which devil, which angel am I going to be more receptive to here. You've got the angel of balance, you've got the card of appreciation, and then you've got deceit coming out. So it's kind of like angel double kind of energy, Aries, as to what you want to do, what you're going to do. Um, I feel like you guys are still leaning back into some kind of deception of the past. It's an interesting switch up. From the energy you guys have had for a while um i do feel like you're feeding more of that positive rather than the negative yeah six of swords tries to come out of the deck um i do think that you're trying to spirit is calling it bypass particular situations so let's see let's clarify this card and then that's it all right spirit for aries what is this deceit about nine of pentacles three of pentacles Ooh, Aries, give me Knight of Pentacles. Um, watch your money this weekend too, Aries. I was kind of like, is this leaning into money or not? And it is. Um, watch your finances, your security, your stability, right? Um, whatever's been gifted or given to you, hang on tight to that. Make sh This is like a spiritual lesson, Aries, around money and value and worth. Um... <sighs> You're trying to get out of some kind of financial situation that is it's almost like plaguing you. You're looking for a reprieve when it comes to this energy. But there's a lot of confusion that surrounds whatever is, you know, finances, stability, all of those things, all that root energy. Um, I feel like someone else outside of you is, um, they could be making a small fortune off of you. I remember something like that coming up in relations to work. Like, you know, if you're doing all the work and, you know, someone else is just sitting back getting paid, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of concern to this around you because it's like they're having fun at your expense. So I feel like that's coming up in your energy right now. That's probably a focus because I feel like it's almost like you're being robbed. But it's also, you know, what path of integrity are you going to take? when it comes to this situation, it's like, I don't even know. Uh, someone's trying to keep you, well, side note, um, this is teaching you to choose yourself, Aries. Uh, some of you could have some third party temptation. Be careful of who you're involving yourself with. Um, be loyal and faithful to the commitments that you make. Uh, I kind of feel like you guys are kind of hanging in the balance, kind of like some Taurus energy of whether or not you're going to make healthy choices. So um, don't be self-indulgent right now. Make smart choices, okay? All right, Taurus. Four, one. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Fra or Friday, Saturday. Okay, fine. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What happened yesterday? What's going on today? What's in your energy tomorrow? Happiness, door to personal healing and happiness. I like it, Taurus. There's a, <laughs> until, da 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 da. Uh, you could be, um, I feel like some of you are fighting to hang on to any happiness that you have had. 
Um, I feel like some of you could be um, having some words, exchange of words, uh, about what makes you happy with um, likely a, a feminine figure. You know, I hate to pull genders out here, but um, it could very well be a female that you're having these words with because it's kind of like, you're like, I'm happy. This is what makes me happy. This is what I want to do. And you've got somebody bringing in some truth or logic to a situation around a particular situation. Um, Taurus, I won't say that they're right or wrong, but I do feel like they've got a few valid points and so do you. So um, let's see, let's see what this is about. Yeah. Uh, Six of Wands, you're happy, you're excited, Eight of Swords, but there's something underneath the surface here that you're even fearing. So, you know, for some of you, this could be a battle within yourself, Three of Swords. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that you're not right in whatever this exchange is. Can, can I get a Taurus reading without the devil showing up one day, please? Uh, I feel like you're disappointed by the words of somebody else, but... Taurus, if someone's giving you, a, Spirit's calling it sound advice, I would listen to it. I'm not saying that they're right or wrong, right? This isn't about right or wrong. This is about, I think deep within you, there's an inner knowing that something is not quite what it seems. You could be openly optimistic, and I'm, you know, look at this hair, oh my goodness, um, not saying that you shouldn't be optimistic and put faith and positivity into things because that's where we manifest from, right? But there is something about this though that is creating more, spirits calling it fear and pain than it's really worth. So it's kind of like weighing the pros and cons of is what you're doing truly working? Is there, or is there um, you know, the long-term effects could be more negative than positive. And I think that that's something you need to address love call expressing love messages of love thinking of you informing you see and that's what I mean you may be taking this as um, someone not wanting you to be happy or downplaying your dreams your goals your wishes but I do think that there is there is some kind of reality check someone is giving you I think their delivery of it is what's off-putting to you is that um, it's like they, they could just be a little more compassionate about it. Instead, they're coming in very stark. This is a soulmate. It's the, they're reflecting some kind of energy back to you. Phoenix, uh, and that snake is some fear there. Uh, the Phoenix is like, Taurus, you're going to rise again and it's all going to be fine have faith in this, but I feel like whatever this thing is, whether this is work or home or whatever, I do feel like it's tied to some kind of financial something or another. There's another way to do things, but you have to be open to that change because I do think there are a few things in this situation that there it's not going to work out the way you want it to. And I think you're going to end up with disappointments and even, you know, some heartbreak and loss when it's said and done. And I, and I think that's the thing is like, you know that, but you just see it, that fixed sign energy of that's what I'm shooting for. Maybe you can do it another way that is not going to create this pain down the line. Okay. So that's that. Gemini 854. <clears throat> All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you guys. Uh, this weekend for Gemini, storm warning, sideways, cornucopia, um, spirit saying pleasantly surprised. Um, it's almost like you, if you give to something, like somebody could say to you, oh yeah, I'll give you that 10 bucks that you need, right? I'll spot you that 10 bucks. And it's like, oh, it feels really good in the moment to engage in that, but then they throw it up in your face that they lent you that 10, and now you're pissed. So it's kind of like that kind of energy that something, this happiness is on conditions. So, um, yeah, the sun, there's that happiness, right? Like, good times, feeling good. Um,
Seven of Swords, Gemini. What I just say. It's emotional manipulation. I'm manipulating a situation. Oh, yeah, I got you. I love you. I'm here for you. Um, and this could have been something too spirit is saying that has come up in the past with this particular person. Um, everything is contingent. It's like, I unconditionally love you and I'm unconditionally here for you. P.S. There's strings. And I feel like you're at a point where you're sick of it. Completely and utterly sick of whatever this is with whomever this is. It's a control. I mean, it's kind of like power play is control. You've got two cards that control. He's controlling without pulling strings. He's controlling from the seat of, I said so. So it's like, and then somewhere in the midst of this, there's got to be some kind of balance and you've got the Ten of Swords. Gemini, I feel like you're going to move away from this in due time. Um, six and seven it are very um, prominently coming up from spirit for you. It could be six days, seven days, six weeks, seven weeks. Um, but someone will lose control of a situation. Uh, you're in a polar opposite, you know, seduction. They're seducing you, you know, it doesn't have to be on a sexual um, plane, but then you've got this girl with a snake, charm enabled use, like, you know, again, conditions around this. This person is just meant to help you see through the way people operate, the way they, the way they master situations to their benefit or to make themselves feel important. Um, and... I said you're gonna you're fed up with it to so stop the pattern cut down silent treatment you're still you're gonna separate yourself from whoever or whatever this is um, because I said <laughs> uh, like you're trying to move into something happy and like the whoever this person is like I do feel like Gemini you have a very happy situation and you're like but this person tends to stir up some shit so there you go all right cancer All right, Cancer, what y'all got going on this week? I hope you guys are doing well. Cancer, woman holding a coin. Back on your throne. I love it. All right, Cancer, for Cancer, Saturday, Sunday. Community, you could be out interming. Oh, yeah, look at you. It's kind of like there's a spotlight on you, Cancer, this weekend. Um, working on your intuition, developing soul connections that are positive for you. You could be out working in your community. Um, harmonizing situations like I really don't feel anything negative like you're really just enjoying this weekend you're setting some things uh, it's almost like laying the building blocks of something for the future so you could be planning organizing um, getting just getting things in order for future movement this weekend uh, but I do feel like you could be out and about doing something with other people for pentacles. Learning when to give a little and when to hold back. Um, no when to hold them, no when to fold them, right? And that's kind of like this, this feel. Maybe some of you guys are playing cards this weekend. I don't know. Uh, Ten of Swords, looking off into the new horizons of what is to come. Leaving all the other stuff behind you. You could have been dealing with an Aries. Um, but I do feel like, Spirit saying we're a fire sign in general. Um, I do feel like you guys are ready to start something new here. Most of you are working towards that. I also feel like your spirit just used the words emotional development. You're healing right now. You're moving on, moving forward. Um, after what feels like a tower moment to me, like the dust is starting to settle. So good stuff. Some of you could have somebody in love coming towards you. As I say that, karmic relationships, resentments, triggers, perceptions, intensity, letting go, turmoil, inflating the mask. Um, somebody you partner up with could be hiding feelings about you or for you. You could also be hiding your feelings from yourself, spirit said. Um, if you are, I feel like there's still an inner knowing, like you're working on it and working towards it which is going to be your abundance, right, in any form. Uh, but it's like, you're, whatever this is, you're taking it a little bit at a time and you're enjoying 
what it's bringing in. And I, I don't know, I like it. I think it's a good reading for you this weekend, Cancer, to just, who's ever coming in to assist you is very stable, very well grounded and very, um, it's like they're teaching you some kind of patience. Like the way, like you could be like hyperactive, energetic, and then you get in this person's presence and you just kind of settle down. So it's like an internal patience of just relaxing. Okay. All right, Leo. 15, 27. All right, Leo, what is going on for you this weekend, Leo? Saturday and Sunday. I don't know, something about horses? I have no idea. I don't know, I just see like a desert trail or something with horses. I don't know what that's about. Uh, some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be, this is crazy, litigation over a horse or a pet or an animal. Six, six, karmic soulmates. You've got contracts here, woman holding coin, strategy. Um, some of you could have been taking a trip. You could be taking a trip. You may be on a trip as you listen to this. Um, you're also spirit. You've got a lot of little things going on here, uh, Leo. You could be separating yourself from somebody at this time, making plans to get out of a particular situation and or a soul contract. Um, feeling pretty grounded. Um, but I feel like the approach that you're taking to get out of this is going from indecision to deceit to strategy. Uh, I feel like you're clearing up anything that is, um, not quite feeling right to you. Uh, <coughs> it's like, I don't know, I feel like you're learning, studying, figuring something out, the full, yeah, willing to take a new risk on something here, and it's not where you are or what you're, it's a real, I don't know, subtle, like, it's not a super heavy energy, you just know that it's time to move on, and there's the Eight of Wands, which is, you know, Fast forward movement, communication, incoming whatevers. Um, some of you could have a new soul contract on the way. Some of you could be getting news of legalities or contract obligations or what is expected of you. Again, Eight of Wands traveling. Um, some of you could be traveling to buy a home or buy something specific looking at getting yourself into some kind of new investment make sure you're reading the fine print um i feel like somebody could be trying to charm you on whatever this is um dinner dates things like that too i don't know where that came from uh spirit is asking you to make divine choices because whatever this little thing is is part of your karmic path no pressure there you go um it's like they want to gain something in this, but so do you. What are you going to experience during this time? Three cards. Twin flames. Self-indulgence. Reminiscing. Um, it's that strategizing the deceit and the indecision. Again, like you're figuring out another way around something here. And you've learned from the past, right? You've learned maybe about the way you even do things that by maybe saying like not speaking up has stopped you from being able to move forward in certain things. Um, so it's knowing your self-worth and being able to step into your power, but also recognizing there are there are some new contracts that are coming in. This is a part of your karmic path. So um, don't be, don't be, as I say, that karmic relationship and abundance comes out. Um, don't be afraid to move on, Leo, from whatever this is. Because I don't know that it, I don't think it's really, there's a certain mindset that comes with that that I don't think has served you, okay? All right, Virgo, 13, 18. All right, Virgo, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. I'm so tired today. I'm just like, oh, you know, not, I don't have too much pep in my stuff here. Um, door to value, cornucopia, and the, well, the magician in the mirror, the magician, basically. Um, I just heard, so what you want to do? <laughs> I feel like you guys are feeling pretty good this weekend. Wanting to do something you could be 
getting ready to spend money on home improvement projects as well. I don't know where that came from. A lot of you, I think, are looking forward to spring, getting outside, doing something new and different. Um, could be cooking at home a lot this weekend too. There's a lot around home, Virgo, um, what you're doing, trying to like decide, do I want to do this or do I want to do that? Um, but I, it honestly, for a change, which makes me really happy for you guys, um, feels like a pretty decent energy to be in. So good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's clarify a little bit here. Uh, the world, the four of swords, there's some healing happening. Boundaries. I don't know. I feel like things are peaceful this weekend for you, which is a nice change of pace compared to what I usually see with you guys on the long-term production, right? Um, Seven of Wands came out. It showed itself on the bottom, and it just came out with the Magician in the Mirror. Um, I still feel like, even though you may be having a nice quiet weekend you as I said sleep right like there I'm, I'm sleepy I'm just tired today a lot of you could be spending some time sleeping but it's like you're ready to come out of hibernation um I feel like separate of that though you still have some decisions to make here Virgo and I don't think you're really yeah, seven of wands in the death card five of pentacles um I don't I always feel like there's somebody else tied to your money why is that? Um, the 20, that's judgment. Again, um, as I say that, there's the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Some of you could be studying to take a test or something too. Um, Virgo, again, that decision thing, like there's a light that's within you, um, an awareness within you what I was saying to begin with and then this caught my attention is that even if you are having a good weekend enjoy it right like do your thing feel good whatever but I think behind the scenes and on an internal aspect you know that there's a decision that's needing to be made here um, you may be kind of protecting your thoughts and feelings surrounding that right now and kind of pretending with this death card that it doesn't exist to the external world, but internally you're aware of it and it's making you feel a little a little doubtful about things. I don't know why I'm getting doubt with the five of pentacles. Um, but it's like it's, it's sorrowful in, in a way, but I feel like that sorrow is tied to somebody else's bullshit again. Um, but I don't know, take this weekend, breathe, enjoy it, take some downtime for you, get some rest. Yeah, look, backstabbing, deceptions, lies, separations, loss. Uh, and then I've got blowing kisses, which are just like the opposites. Um, I don't know. I'm seeing some kind of in karmic relationship. You and this person, I just said it's always tied to somebody else, and it is again. Um, it's like you come together, you break apart. You come together, you get along, you break apart. Um, and it's like right now you could be in one of those happy times, but again, there's still a decision on the horizon here. Soulmates comes back out in healing heart, um, to cut ties and move on and have, or have faith. Like that's kind of where I always feel like you do. The pendulum swings like yes, no, to say, to go, um, yay, nay. Like it's always that kind of energy and it's separation like you keep leaning more into I need to leave a situation but yet you stay so it's like you could be forgiving a situation this weekend or trying to forgive a situation um but I feel like internally like you st you know you you're so used to this cycle of on again off again feeling you know this decision is going to be made come hell or high water I think for some of you you've already made this decision to let it go and you're healing from it which is nice for others of you there you go patience you're still sitting on it trying to decide what you want to do so I don't know if you have a good weekend just enjoy it right just be in the here and the now in the present moment right so all right Libra 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 what y'all got going on this weekend Libra holy crap Deceit and indecision. 
spirit just like screamed and screamed at me stop lying to yourself whatever the hell that means for you like i wasn't ready for spirit to go stop lying to yourself right like what the hell does that mean for you libra look it's like this there's so many messages libra that's coming in with with these couple cards um some of you could be lying to yourself about a partnership that you have some of you could be taking advantage of or someone is taking advantage of you via the means of love for the sake of money um some of you need to walk away from situations and heal from these situations um tired of being on the outside looking in um jealous and angry over uh, another person's uh, willpower to stabilize some people could be jealous and insecure over the partnerships that people have with other people that don't even have to be romantic so there's a lot of insecurities coming up in this um all I can say, Libra, is of all of the shit that just rolled out of my mouth and all these different scenarios, if the shoe fits where it, like, there's so much manipulation based upon the fact that somebody here doesn't want to have to just go one way or the other. It's like wanting your cake and eating it too, wanting the best of both worlds. You can't have both right now. Or the person you're dealing with can't have both right now spirit said or ever i don't know what you guys did this week but spirit is like ah, whoa or what's going on this week for you guys not even that you did something just maybe in action right it could be what you haven't done obviously indecision needing to make a decision right um libra i think i said this to you i'm not sure when you could be in something and wanting to be like maybe physically you're somewhere mentally you're somewhere else okay that's that's kind of how this feels to me so she's in six of swords page of cups daydreaming what i just say it's like you're here but you're not here um libra whatever has not worked when it comes to your emotions are you lying to yourself about how you feel about a situation as look at this you can't you can't make this up the tower the moon the king of cups facing your fears lying to yourself illusions and delusion it's all emotional trying to balance that but here comes this tower Mm. Spirit just said, prepare yourself. Uh, deceit. Deceit, deceit, deceit. What is this? This, if you want, here's the deal. Whatever this is for you, whether it's you that can't make a decision or somebody else, got the judgment and then the six of wands coming out sideways. It's like you're hoping, Spirit is saying, for someone else to make the decision for you. That's not going to happen. It cannot be fun and games. Um, nobody wins if the truth isn't being told. And I feel like whatever this is, is catching not just you but this other person up somehow that's making this harder than it needs to be you want to feel some freedom you gotta let that shit go and if it takes you down to a five of pentacles then it does you will rebuild and figure this out but there is a need to call something for exactly what it is regardless of how difficult that feels to you. You need to just walk through the consequence of a situation, quit daydreaming about how it might be one day, and get your shit in check with reality right now. 
um, because it's affecting your Ten of Pentacles. It's affecting the direction in which you're going. It's going to derail your plans for the future if you stay in this. And Libra, there you are. <sighs> Two of Cups and Eight of Cups. In reality, you're fighting for something that hasn't had balance in a long time for the sake that you will have equitable balance, even in difference of opinion, Spirit is saying, moving forward. Whatever this home idea is, home is not where your heart is right now. Wasn't it Shania Twain that sang a song or something about home isn't where his heart is anymore or some shit like that? I think that was her. My God, I'm going way back. Um, showing some age there. Um, you need to look at that. You really need to look at that this weekend because it's kind of like illusions. And look, I get to put the card back in the deck. There's the heartbroken card and the world. Again, this is going to close out one way or another. You get to decide on what terms. All right, Scorpio. 31, 24. All right, Scorps. <clears throat> what is going on? Hostilities. Scorpio. <laughs> <coughs> you are keeping everybody and their mother at arm's length because of the pain of the past. But this is also part of your healing journey this weekend, my dears. Um, oh, Scorpio. You guys are like, I'm ready, I'm willing, I'm able. One, two, three, light a match, open it up. And then you're like, well, hold on a second. And then you're like, I'm still healing. And then you're like, but why am I healing? Well, because I took a chance on something that broke my damn heart before. Scorpio, the world card behind this broken heart, like you are healing from this, even if sometimes you think you're not. So you could kind of be back and forth um, between the heart and the head with this thinking woman here going, but I remember why I ended up here before, right? Like it's same old song and dance. And um, here's the thing, Scorpio, I, I talked yes, you know, two days ago, I put your reading out about the power that you had. Whatever is hanging in the balance in regards to partnerships in your life, You've got the power, um, be it a curse and a blessing, to really tear up, for lack of better dramatic words, other people's world right now. This storm warning isn't it coming for you. This is you bringing it to the table. Nobody can stir up some life like a Scorpio can sometimes, right? And unless you're dealing with, like, shadow stuff. And Scorpio, it's like, you are the tower. You are the death card. You are crazy-ass transformation. And it's kind of like you having that scorpion tail. I, I remember saying one time before, locked and loaded, but you weren't using it. Um, it's like you want to sting somebody. You want to just let some kind of aggression out, but yet you're kind of keeping it at bay, tucked beneath the surface, three, 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 and then nine. So it could be important. Three, six, nine hurts as well. Um, I think you're hiding a little bit of your own pain too from a particular situation and you need to let it out. So if you need to say this to somebody or you need to get something off your chest or 
you need to write it down because you can't talk to this person there's another part of this healing that is happening and i kind of feel like if anything scorpio in regards to that storm morning there might be a storm brewing inside of you um and i feel like you get it's like you get to host the show put it that way that if and should you choose to let this out you could upheaval worlds for other people in general and it's like but it's it's funny spirit is saying it's all for the sake of love you've you've done love without love for so long that now that you're ready for love it's like people may think that you're not caring but you truly are and i remember saying this recently to you um about how compassionate and loving you can be and it's like that's where your heart wants to go but then your heart still feels this so there's something very much coming up around the emotions and you kind of solidifying where you stand in particular situations Queen of Pentacles on the Temple Path. Ten of Swords walking away. The end. There's your truth. You're tired of anything that no longer excites you and does not serve a greater purpose in your life. And Scorpio, um, hold on. It's coming. Four of Pentacles. You're holding on. Four, four here as well. You're heading into wish fulfillment. You're heading into beautiful things. I do, again, think you're kind of holding back. Hold on, it's coming. It's like um, you lighting the match and setting off the fireworks, both internally and externally to those around you who aren't prepared <clears throat> for this dynamic. Poker face, right? Taking a chance, risking options, not showing your hand in gambling. As I said, it's like underneath the surface here. So, um, you're not showing everything quite yet. Re mirroring each other's self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. And I think you recognize you've got the power to uh, create chaos. Um, but not to create chaos to create harm, but to create transformation. And that's, you're right there. You're right on the cusp of that. It's about your self-worth and your value, Scorpio. Your shadow work, your self-appreciation, time to heal. What comes after that? Cutting those things out of your life. So it's whatever buildup of something that you've been working on, it's coming. It's like you're preparing yourself. You're slowly um, getting yourself to that final point. Like you're ready to cross the finish line on something. And it's to separate yourself. Um, you could be recognizing patterns in two of certain people that, like, you start off, like, they almost become a distraction. And I think you're recognizing the distraction and you're having to ward that off, too. Okay? All right. Sag. All right, Sag. You give me one, one second. Okay? Hold on one second. Okay, Sag, sorry. I need to heat up my coffee and stretch. <laughs> I needed a second. I don't know if I slept wrong or what I did, but the shoulder is aching today. All right, Sag, let's see. What's going on this weekend for Sag? Spirits, I love money, you name it. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything happening this weekend. Oh, throat chakra. Um, coming out sideways. Man holding a coin. Feel like your stability has been rocked. I don't feel like you're trusting your intuition. I feel like you're just kind of moving through. <sighs> They're saying the ethers and pretending like nothing is going on at the surface, but sad, you're not communicating some truth here. You're holding back on something. And um, look, you know, you know something is is transpiring. And I feel like, and I've felt this for you guys, I think since mid-November that some, and I've said to you, I kind of like gave you the ass chew and I've given to Taurus and Libra lately, that this change is happening regardless. And I kind of feel like you're in the middle of this right now. 
you don't know what to make of it. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to do. It's like you kind of could be walking through life, like half hearing everything that's going on around you, half talking about what's going on around you, maybe not wanting to talk about it at all. Um, <clears throat> there's a suppression of the emotions with this fifth chakra, even though it's the throat. Um, watch for coughs, colds. The throat could be sore as well. Um, I don't really feel like it's so much that. I mean, there might be a handful of you for that, but it's this, there, yeah, there's a five, seven, five, and seven. Like, this was the inevitable that everything around you is changing, and, and here you are. You're in the middle of this, and Spirit is saying it's just getting started. I remember telling a Sag here, I think it was the end of the year, beginning of laundry day, um, a Sag here, the beginning of the year, the end of the year, that um, their their world would not look the same in the, in the next year. And, and I'm watching that not just for that particular Sagittarius, but for many that there's got to be a shift and, you know, stalemates hang, you know, hangman mode is, you've had enough time to sit back and observe. Now you've got to start to do something. As I say that, look what's on the bottom, the tower. Sag, it's, you're in the middle of the storm and now you're going to have to start not just thinking about it, not just observing it. Now you have to start making movement. And I think that that is the thing right now that is really in your energy and the magician, what are you going to create? And I feel like you could feel like you've been backstabbed, betrayed, hurt. I feel like, um, whether it's jobs, people, it doesn't matter what it is, but you're birthing something new for yourself. And I can't, I always see this page of pentacles. It does not matter how it comes out in a reading. The first word I hear every time I look at this one is hesitancy. She's holding back. Whether it's information, whether it's a desire, whether it's it, to me, with this hair font and the Empress, there's a fear of moving forward. Are you afraid of success? Are you afraid that you're actually going to be happy or is it just easier to victim mentality ourself into Ten of Swords and go, well, this happened to me. And yes, I could cross this threshold and I could over go over the mountain and go into the sunlight, but right now I'm just gonna stand here. It's like everything is on pause. And the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight and what's behind him, the Seven of Cups. I don't know what to do. But the thing about it is, Sag, you do know what you wanna do. You just don't wanna have to see it that way. So, <clears throat> I kind of feel like this weekend is a lot of stalemate energy, a lot of internal knowing. You may not be talking about it. Um, I don't, never mind. I'll deal with that later. But, um, like, there's just a whole lot of that energy that's coming in. And it's like, um, I just said, you could have felt backstabbed, betrayed. Truth's not being told, that throat chakra, maybe it's not just you, maybe it's somebody else is telling you half-truths right now. There it is. Um, you're, you, you know, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use this as an example, but I don't think this is necessarily the, the thing. It's like, maybe you got into a marriage with the commitment of forever, right? We don't get married to get divorced, I've said it time and again. But you're realizing that there's alternative ways and you could be getting forced to cut things out of your life and anything that is one-sided is requiring you to, to change that. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I see this card for you all the time. Old school, I just said about the ways of doing things. You have to make healthier choices for yourself. And I think that's what's happening here, Sag. Um, there's a truth in that, and you know there's a truth. There's an underlying truth, I think, in every aspect of your life, whether it's work, home, family, love, life, relationships, friendships, sh situationships, ships, ships, ships. Um, and there was the patience card. Like, you just really dragging your feet on changing this, and it's no more sitting still, Sag. No more sitting still. 
All right, Capricorn. 44. All right, Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn this weekend, Spirit? <clears throat> what is walking away and... Oh, golly. <clears throat> um, Capricorn, I think you're seeing through some... Um, somebody has used you. There's really no other way to slice this. I can't sugarcoat it. I can't make it sound anything other than financial constraints, second shock, or walking away. Somebody has used you here for their own, whether it's emotional gain, for you to see them a certain way. Um, they played on your desires, and now it's like, okay, well, thanks, see ya. So, yeah, 9-9, nine, nine, it's an ending to a situation that I don't even feel like it came up for, like, a long period of time. It was like a nanosecond. Like, they pop in, they pop out. Um, and they're starting to see a pattern in regards to this situation. Uh, this weekend, you're seeing them distancing themselves from you. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles there. And it's like someone I've said it a lot with this the six of pentacles lately I've started to see that card in this deck anyhow is someone taking and not giving back and you know breadcrumbing you and that's how this energy feels I said emotional there's the king of cups queen of cups coming up in the reverse um she's cold she's abrasive she doesn't care eight of wands it's coming in faster than you would like it to king of wands you could be sitting in some emotional energy you could be dealing with a cancer scorpio pisces um be careful of how much you give to this person the blindfold is coming off so if you've been wearing rose colored glasses to this situation you're starting to realize that this eight of pentacles while they said they were going to work with you or work you know whatever this was they were going to alchemize with you they were full of shit um because it's it's again as quick as it's coming in it's stopping two of wands you could be distancing yourself from this person it's kind of like maybe it was fun and games for a hot second uh but realizing that that's not where your happiness is or the fun times are going to continue wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles coming out sideways um this is like a quick cycle of dealing with somebody maybe for the last three to four months spirit is saying and now you're quickly seeing like they'll leave you high and dry they don't care um capricorn advice healing heart um <clears throat> engagement ring which is commitment right it doesn't have to be marriage um is coming out in the sideways position it's kind of like them stringing you along and yeah i'm gonna do this and that and oh yeah i've got you blah 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 whatever um, you're seeing something about the duality you may have invested in the wrong person healing heart you will heal from this this was an abusive situation whether it was an abuse of power an abuse of your emotions your money whatever your time um, you're going off on your own like you might take a minute and go well I thought maybe this was a good idea but you quickly see that someone was not being straightforward about a situation with you and um, it's like you're right now, you're in the middle of getting ready to let this go because you can tell that they're energetically pulling back from you or the reasons, like they only came in for a hot second. Maybe, I don't know, we'll be cute and go, oh, you know, uh, when we were in high school, when everybody found out you got Taylor Swift's concert tickets, right? Uh, they were your best friend because they knew you had an extra ticket to go, but then once the concert's over, they don't want to hang out anymore. They used you. Same scenario. All right, Aquarius. 13. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's happening for you this weekend. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Man holding heart, walking awake. A little bit of the same kind of energy Capricorn's got going on. Um, but I feel like you've kind of thrown yourself into the snake pit here, Aquarius. Um, I do think that like family relationships are probably okay. Um, they're loving, they're supportive. You're trying to support those. However, 
when it comes to other things, and there you are, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Aquarius, be careful of what you're giving to other people. Um, I see you entangling yourself potentially with a Cancer. Um, you could be going to visit somebody as well. Man, you guys play both sides of the fence. Um, it gets, it's funny, like, ladies, them day, dealing with the masculine energy, they could be given to you, and you're like, no, thank you. Masculines, you're giving something to somebody, and there it is. The playing field is not even. I don't know what else to say to that. The moon. Cancer energy. Cancer Pisces energy again. Um, three of wands. Traveling distance. Things like that. Uh, you're trying to plant a seed with somebody here. But somebody's not emotionally open to anything. Despite what you're trying to accomplish. That's the outcome. <sighs> Just take your time, Aquarius, with whatever this is. Like, you, you could be very intuitive, very knowing, very aware. I feel like you're trying to alchemize a situation. You could have a past person coming in. You need to be a little more thoughtful about what you're doing. Because you gotta, it's like you gotta keep your passions in check on something so you don't get, uh caught up again right cutting ties moving on receiving what you need progression and arriving you're going through another transformation here Aquarius big surprise with Pluto and Aquarius right surprise surprise um but it's like you're trying to invest into something that for some of you it's something new for some of you it's it's other things coming back around and it's after a period of disappointment, two of swords, trying to see through it. Something here is closing out. I, it's likely that some of you could be online dating or online meeting up and going to see somebody. I don't know what that's about, but um, I don't know. It's like you're, I don't know. It's, you're, you're dealing with somebody who, somebody's got a lot of emotion for something and drive and somebody else just doesn't care. I don't know how else to put that to you right now. Okay. All right. Pisces. Pisces 52, 52. All seven. All right, Pisces. What y'all got going on this weekend? Pisces. Ah, and we, are we going to, hell yeah, we're, and, Pisces, storm morning in the background. Uh, spiritual evolvement. Watch out, world. Here comes Pisces. Uh, third chakra, solar plexus, the sun, solar plexus energy again. Um, door to value. Lots of yellow in that. So we're going to go with that. Um, Pisces, you guys are moving into something beautiful. Page of Pentacles took you a long time to come to where you're at a point where you want to feel good. You are feeling good. Um, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, <sighs> Pisces, Three of Swords, Nine of Swords, Judgment. Uh, da, 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 da. I just heard I can do it on my own. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Leo energy, pretty heavy here. Um, You're switching up on somebody. Somebody could also be holding um, finances or stability over your head. I think behind the scenes, Pisces, if that's the case, you are starting to invest and build up something very quietly for yourself. And for the sake of the cross watcher is watching, and no offense to the cross watcher. Um, you're losing your Pisces, so you better figure it out. You're recognizing your self-worth and value, karmic relationships. You're understanding what you need to let go of. 
and you're done dealing with people who make you feel like you can't trust them or look over your shoulder. I feel like you're meeting up with somebody, you're having conversations. I think you could be finding out news about this karmic partnership that you've been dealing with for some time. And you're like, ah, the sun is illuminating some truths here. And you're realizing, Spirit is saying, it wasn't you this entire time. So, it's like the 11th hour, or you're like, I know something's happening. Spirit's coming in, and you're ready to pack up shop. The world card. Spirit is saying a dramatic ending. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. The rest of the water signs and earth signs will be out soon for the mid-month. And then it's off to March already. Oh, my goodness. Spring, spring, please. All right, sending you guys so much love. Thank you for all the likes, shares, comments, subscribes. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Take care, and I will see you soon.